Hey my friends, I'm Dr. Titus Chu and this is The Modern Brain. In this video, you'll learn exactly why gluten is so damaging to your brain. All of you watching have probably heard about gluten by now. In the grocery store, you've seen gluten-free bread, gluten-free products, gluten-free substitutes. At restaurants, you've seen gluten-free menus and gluten-free alternatives. So it's probably nothing new to you. But either way, I'm going to break it down for you just a bit. What is gluten exactly? Gluten is a protein that's found in high concentrations in grains such as wheat, rye, and barley. Gluten is what gives grains and things such as bread that gooey, ooey goodness that helps to puff breads up and make pizzas delicious, as well as cakes, cookies, and muffins. All the wonderful things in life, right? Well, unfortunately, the same quality that allows gluten to give grains that yumminess is also what is really damaging to our brains and bodies. Now, gluten itself is made up of other components. One of them that's really important to our conversation today is what's known as gliadin. Gliadin is one of the building blocks of gluten. When you eat gluten, and if you have a sensitivity to it, that or to gliadin, your immune system triggers an inflammatory reaction to attack the protein. But in doing so, there could be collateral damage. And depending on your genetic predispositions, you can have damage to your gut, you can have damage to your heart, your thyroid, and you can also have damage to your brain. The fascinating thing is the nasty reaction from gluten can specifically target a very, very important region of your nervous system, what we call the prefrontal cortex. In a 2004 study published in the American Journal of Medicine, Italian researchers found that people who had gluten sensitivity and celiac disease had decreased circulation or what we call hypoperfusion to frontal regions of their brain. Remember what I said earlier that the problem with gluten is if your immune system sees it, it can attack it and launch an inflammatory reaction? Well, the way it works is like this. Gluten and gliadin are made up of a series of what we call amino acids, which make up proteins. You could think of the amino acid sequence like a name tag. So when your immune system sees that particular name tag, you can actually tag it and then launch an inflammatory response against it. Now, the problem is if it was just specific to the gluten, great, because then it'll just neutralize it. But what ends up happening, like I said before, is you can have collateral damage to your gut, your heart, to your skin, to your thyroid, and more importantly for our conversation, to your prefrontal cortex. Standard blood testing typically only looks at two markers, anti-tissue transglutaminase antibody, as well as endomycel antibody. What's wrong with that, you say? When conventional lab tests only look at two markers, there's a bunch that can be missing. There are lab tests out there that can measure up to 32 different types of reactions to gluten. Up to 32 different protein sequences that your immune system could actually look at and attack. And so the conventional lab tests, they miss a lot of gluten sensitivity. The second point I wanna make is, even if you don't have digestive symptoms like gas or bloating or diarrhea or constipation, and even if you don't have celiac disease, which is an autoimmune disease against your gut, you can still have an inflammatory reaction against gluten. But what you're experiencing is what we call extra intestinal symptoms of gluten sensitivity. Your immune system might not be launching an attack against your gut. It could be very well damaging your brain. I know, I know, that sounds overwhelming, doesn't it? I felt the same way too when I learned about this stuff. I used to struggle from brain fog and brain fatigue and was really irritable and easily triggered and had a quick temper. And I thought that was just who I was. I thought that was just my personality. But guess what? After I ran some lab tests and I identified that I had gluten sensitivity and I removed gluten from my diet 100%, Oh my goodness, so many of those symptoms that I struggled with, brain fog and fatigue and irritability, and even some of the more darker symptoms like paranoia when it got really bad, they just started to melt away. 
And I know if you're struggling with those symptoms, the same is possible for you. My name is Dr. Titus Chu. Thanks so much for watching. This has been The Modern Brain.